Euler's identity. The seemingly simple equation combines five of the most fundamental constants in all of mathematics. E, I, I, 1, and 0. Today, we're going to explore this mathematical equation and discover why engineers and mathematicians consider it the most beautiful equation ever written. Before we unlock its mystery, let's quickly recap the five fundamental constants that show up in Euler's identity. We won't go into extensive detail. However, understanding their significance will help you appreciate why this equation is so remarkable. First, we have Euler's number, E, approximately 2.718. This number is the foundation of natural exponential growth and decay, appearing in everything from finance to physics. Then, the imaginary unit, I, defined as I squared equals negative 1. This seemingly abstract number extends our mathematical toolkit beyond the real number line, playing a crucial role in solving various problems that we would not be able to solve with the real numbers alone, such as problems where we encounter the square root of negative numbers. The use of I have many great applications in math, engineering, and quantum mechanics. Then there is pi, the well-known ratio of a circle circumference that's the diameter, approximately 3.14. It's an irrational number that appears in countless equations across geometry and physics. Lastly, 1 and 0, the building blocks of arithmetic, representing unity and nothingness respectively. These five constants each hold immense significance on their own, but Euler's identity brings them together in a way that is almost poetic. The heart of Euler's identity lies in Euler's formula. This equation forms a bridge between exponential functions and trigonometry, revealing unexpected connection between exponential growth and circular motion. Imagine walking in a circle. Your position can be described using two coordinates. Cosine measures how far you are along the horizontal axis and sine measures your vertical position. Now, consider raising E to an imaginary exponent ix. Surprisingly, this exponential expression traces out the exact same circular path in the complex plane. In simpler words, when we raise E to an imaginary power, instead of growing like regular exponential functions, it moves in a circle. This means that exponential growth behaves very differently in the imaginary direction. It does not just get bigger, it rotates. This unexpected link between exponential functions and circular motion is what makes Euler's formula so fascinating. It is as if we discovered that growth and circular motion are secretly the same thing, just viewed from different perspectives. When we set x to equal pi, something truly remarkable happens. Since we know that cosine pi equals negative 1 and sine pi equals 0, this simplifies to the following. Adding 1 to both sides gives us Euler's identity. Beyond algebra, Euler's identity has deep geometric significance. Multiplying by e to the power i times pi is equivalent to rotating any complex number by pi radians in the complex plane. This is analogous to multiplying a real number by negative 1 but extended into the world of complex numbers. This concept is fundamental in physics, engineering, and computer graphics. Every time you use GPS, listen to digital music, or watch a satellite broadcast, you're benefiting from Euler's identity in action. What makes Euler's identity so beautiful is how it unifies seemingly unrelated branches of mathematics. Exponential growth and circular motion are intimately connected. Real and imagined numbers complete each other in a profound way. It's a powerful reminder that mathematics isn't just a set of rules. 
it's a language that describes the universe in a way that both surprising and elegant. If you enjoyed this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Let us know in the comments what you liked about this video and what we can do better. Thanks for watching.